Hello, my name is Polina Novik. I would like to tell you an excerpt to the novel of Evgenia Nikita, which Alexander Pushkin wrote. The passage is the story by Tatiana Lavarina to Evgeny. Get up. I now must explain to you, to it frankly. You must remember the daytime when in the gardens alley by the fate as brought together sight. To listen your attendant's eye. Today you see the turn is mine. Then I was much younger, and seems to me much more was fine. I loved you. I for love had hunger. But what in all your heart could find? So wept, instead of kindness. Indeed for you was nature tidings of humble girl, some secret love. As soon as I could stare at the tear humbly, but I cannot blame the drift of time. To be more honest, could you dare? To me, the time you were quite right. To you, it's great, so am I. No this, or is that true? In desert, from fussy rumors being far, you didn't like me. What has happened? Said after me, you are now, and me you have in view. What purpose? Is it because in higher circles, each other day, be seen I must, that I am rich in wealthy caste, in actions husbands mutilated, and as for that it's called caress, or that's because all my disgrace, that I attract to you belated, and in the world could help to back seductive self small. Respect. I weep. <laughs> if that you tell me, until now you could not forget it. Your pricks so sweet, you must know, your strict and cool severe chat. If I had right for some decisions, I would prefer to slide in feelings to all these letters, tears, deeds. The time to all my children's dreams. You had, I saw, some little pity, some small respect to age and list. But now this explains the gist to fit of mine what is your list. And how, with your heart and mind, to be the slave of sins, not kind. All the splendor, the stencil of repelling life, and my in life's success at random, my stillish place, and quest till night. What use? I would enjoy alone to give this masquerade by now. The noise, the luster, and the crooks. For while the garden shall sell books, 
for such a distance for dwelling, for place in which the first time I saw a Megan in moonlight, in cemetery, eternal city, in shade of branch, some little crows of on grey of their full nose. And happiness was not unlikely and so near. But my fate decided me. In cautions, like there was, but me could supplicate. My mother, in her bitter tears, implored to ill it for time me here. To all the time became alike, and then I married. I would like to ask you leave. Do not be fine. You know, in all your heart could find some little corner and the pride. I love you. Why should I be cunning? They, they made me marry as a man. And I'll be true to you. Till then.